I started working for McDonald's when I was 17. Um, my parents told me that I had to get a job or my car was getting taken away from me. So I immediately went in there and applied and the next day I was part of the crew. What really, really brings me to McDonald's, um, it's my people, it's my customers. Um, I've had a lot of opportunity. I went from being a crew person and I've moved up all the way up to being a store manager. So yeah, just the opportunity of moving up and it's a wonderful, wonderful um, company to work for. We're coming to you today from the parking lot of the Waverly Downtown Gym. I'm Dan Ramey with Litter Media and we have with us Chief John Winfield from the Waverly Police Department. Uh, Chief, you've been on the job now for about a year. Yes, sir. It's been about a little over a year. Last week has been a year. Well, congratulations first on that. that. Um, but that also brings us around to what we're getting ready for. Yes, you sir. experienced last year the Heroes event, which will be taking place this coming Saturday. Yes. Um, basically, last year uh, we started a hero meet and greet, uh, kind of a way to get back into the community. Uh, try to do some good PR. Um, that way, the Having it in front of the kids, it shows that you're real people. Yes, and the kids had fun, you know, being able to pie us in the face, dunk us in the dunk tank. Um, we're trying to get uh, inflatables this year too, just to kind of expand a little bit. So hopefully we'll be able to get that taken care of too. Yeah. Uh, when you talk about all of the people that are getting together, we're we talking local fire departments, yes. your your police officers, as well as the sheriff's department. We're talking piping. Sheriff's Office, State Patrol, um, all the local law enforcement, all the local fire departments, uh, the Medicare, because they provide the EMS coverage now for us. And when does this all start Saturday? Uh, this starts from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. right here. Okay, 11 to 4 Saturday right here at the parking lot of the Waverly Downtown Gym. Uh, give us an update where you stand with uh, the Waverly Police Department now. You've been on the job a year. Uh, where? Where are things progressing to and where, where have you come from? Um, the biggest thing that we want to do is be more involved with the community. I think we're doing that. Uh, we've been reaching out, uh, participating in a lot of community events. Um, we had to adjust our road schedule to provide more coverage. Uh, so the guys went from eight hours to 12 hours. Uh, it gives them a little bit more time off and it beefs our road coverage up to where we have at least two or three officers out the majority of the time, which is a plus. Um, here recently, we just got our bikes back up and running. So uh, myself and Officer Johnson were out on those. Get our Facebook video, you can, our Facebook page, you can see that. So that was a plus that we were able to get up and running was our bike patrol. And uh, the next big step is uh, we're gonna start trying to work on getting our neighborhood watch program back up. Now, of course, uh, like every police force, you are uh, budget conscious, <laughs> and you'd like to add more officers, but. Uh, the money's just not there just yet. Not right now. Um, we're doing pretty good with our budget. Uh, we've got a pretty good working relationship now with the auditor's office and council, so we're uh, pretty mindful of what we spend and trying to budget out. Uh, big project is we got to look at cruisers, um, so that's kind of where we're at right now. we got to get that project taken care of and get some new cruisers out of the fleet. Yeah. Uh, of course, you've got a Facebook page, but yes. uh, do you have a website also? Uh, yes, uh, WaverlyPD.net. Okay, so go to WaverlyPD.net to find out more information about how you might be able to help out with the police department. Yes. Anything that we have missed here you wanted to make sure people knew? The biggest thing right now, the biggest way to interact with us is on our Facebook page. We do monitor that, not 24-7, but you can send us a message. We'll get back to you uh, as soon as we can. Uh, our website, we don't really use that much, but you can go on there and give them tips, request reports. Big things on Facebook page. And of 
course, in case of an emergency, 911 <laughs> as well. But all the other calls and things just use the regular number. Yes. But, um, and I will attest to the Facebook page because uh, that's how we set this up. <laughs> we reached out. <laughs> yes. Boom, you were covering a, an officer in the evening uh, last week. So. Yeah, I do cover some shifts time to time and even cover dispatch, just whatever we can do to help out. Yeah, that's all part of it. He's your police chief here in Waverly. Again, the Heroes event starts at 11 o'clock Saturday, runs until 4 o'clock. Uh, when's the, are you going to do the pie again? I don't know if we're going to do pie in the face, <laughs> but like I said, we'll definitely have our dunk tank here. Um, we'll have uh, face painting, we'll have some music. Um, like I said, all the local firefighters will be here, EMS, uh, all the local law enforcement will be here. Should be a good time to come out and interact with us and we get to interact with the community, which is always a plus. Uh, that way they can kind of see that we're human and that we want to be part of the community and, you know, and this gives us time to interact with the public. Very good. Thanks for giving us time here today. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you coming out. Chief John Winfield from Waverly. Thank you, sir.